Hi, I'm Jen Ferrara and I'm part of a nut-free family. Two years ago, my son was diagnosed with food allergies and asthma. At first, it was really hard to even want to leave the house. But now, we've done quite a few road trips and visited family and friends, and we've got some great tips to share with you about how you can take your allergies on the road and be safe and have fun. Number one, plan your route. We usually take well-traveled paths, highways that have easy access to hospitals and grocery stores, things like that. I use the Google My Maps app to design my own map, which then I can save on my phone or print out. On it, I put all the places we might need to stop as well as places we might want to stop, like a nut-free restaurant or a place of interest like a park. And that way, we have a sense of where we're headed even if we're going somewhere unfamiliar. Step two, take your meds. Well, that's kind of obvious, right? But it's good to plan ahead to double check that all your medication, you have enough of a supply for your trip as well as in case you get delayed, your flight's canceled, a hurricane comes through, which actually happened to us once, or for some reason you just need more. So once you have all that, put all your meds in one place. If we're going through customs, we actually also include all the medication information so that we can show them when we cross over the border. Then I put this bag in that bag and I have a day pack that we can take with us everywhere all the time. Step three, plan your meals. It's hard to find good places to eat that you know are safe on the road. And anyway, home cooked food tastes so much better. So we just clear out the fridge before we go. We bring leftovers, we make wraps and sandwiches, and then we take all kinds of things that we like to eat. We just pack up all these. These are great to reuse and use as bowls on the road as well. And we put it all in one of these big freezer bags. They're nice because they can wrap up when you're done with them. We also don't always use those ice packs because it's hard to refreeze them sometimes. We often just bring extra baggies and fill them with ice when we go to the hotel or place we're staying. The other thing we do is make sure we know where there are grocery stores, where we're staying. That way, when we do finally run out of food, we can refill easily. Step four, choose your hotel carefully. It's good to read reviews online, but it's also good to call ahead to the hotel and let them know about your allergy and see if there's any special things they can give you, like an allergy-friendly room. They're available in some bigger cities. The thing that we find most important is knowing that our room will have a refrigerator, a microwave, or even a kitchenette so we can prepare our meals easily. And finally, step five, have fun. These things might seem tedious and hard at first, but once you've got it done, you don't have to worry the rest of the trip. Where are you gonna eat? Where are you gonna stay? What you need to do if you need some help? You've got it all planned. So jump in that river, run down that street, take those pictures with your friends, go out and enjoy the world. It's your turn to hit the road. Have fun.